Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another evening of Carnage. This is Captain Easy. Well, last session was not the best one in my life. The mishap in Denmark was really frustrating. I was on my way out of Kattega and the Kriegsmarine hit me just when one of my three task forces had already left. Uh, so it, it really hit me when I was the weakest. So if they had come a little bit later, all my task forces had been gone. If they came earlier, that hit all the three and that had been a lot stronger. And uh, the battle, you saw in the in the gameplay clip that my, my ships didn't even reach the front, so it was extremely frustrating. And then uh, the battle here outside Ceylon, it was a gamble from my side, for sure. Uh, but it actually worked because I hit one of their smaller transport task for forces and I think three transport ships went down to almost zero. But then I lost contact and although the battle sort of continued, no shots were fired. And then when the big Imperial Japanese Navy came, my kegs were spent. So I lost bitterly and as you saw, uh, the beautiful Hoi naval retreat system. Um, one of my task forces went the completely wrong way when it retreated and, uh, well, was toasted. So I lost, in one month, one third of the Royal Navy. And that's a goddamn record, I think. And I'm not proud of it either. Uh, so, but my best ships are still around, so I'll, they still pack a lot of bad news. So there's still, uh, there's still hope. But Indian Ocean is simply not a good place to be anymore. So I'm going to try to to get away here as, as quick as I can. Now, we the Allies have been talking to Stalin. Uh, and I think we'll have some new stuff coming up. Because Stalin just realized that Hitler is a dork. So we'll see what's going to happen within short. So now let's roll. The game is rolling. And uh, what I'm going to do is this battered fleet here. Uh, we'll try to uh, to to get away and um, reorg a little bit, and when it has reorged, uh, not reorged, but I will I will simply change how the um, the ships are positioned, and then I'm going to try to flee back to England, uh, and I hope that um, I really hope that. The uh, Japanese Navy, who should be somewhere around uh, Ceylon or Sri Lanka, is not so fast that they try to go here uh, in the uh, Gulf of Aden and block me, because that can be really, really bad for the Royal Navy. So we'll see what's going to happen now. So I will evacuate uh, the entire Suez area as far as I can. I don't have enough transport ships. But when that is done, the Canadians, the Canadians will take over a lot of the defense here. So we'll see how that unfolds. The Soviet victory over Persia was important as it would make it possible for the British troops around Suez, Iraq and even India to retreat through Soviet Union all the way up to Arkhangelsk in the far north if necessary. All right, so the big retreat uh, from um, from Egypt and the Suez is on ongoing. As you can see here, a lot of, of navies is moving out. Uh, I haven't seen any Japs except a submarine here. So I think that, uh, I hope that the Imperial Japanese Navy is not out to hunt me down. And um, we sent Canadians here and then Sir Henry went to play France. And of course, all the Canadians is is moving to hell they are actually become british which is a little bit odd concerning our house rules but sometimes computer the computer the ai do things we don't <laughs> allow in house rules so let's see how we deal with that uh, and of course uh, uh, gibraltar is very lightly defended right now but the reason that we um wanted Sir Henry to play on France is that we wanted to use the French Navy. Sir Henry, tell us what, what just happened. I was uh, rebasing all the troops towards the west and um, met both um, the German and Italian Navy. In the Gulf and of Tunis? Well, sorry? Now in the Gulf of Tunis. In the Gulf of Tunis, Now yeah. I see you, you are in the Narrows. Are you moving your Navy away? I, did, I didn't think so. You have troops in the Narrows. It's outside uh, uh, Sicily. 
the West yeah, is see that. So move them in some clever direction because I think you will have the Italians there or or something. So move them, rebase them back to England where you rebase that carrier. Can't do that. Why not? Rebase. I'm fighting. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you want air cover? Yes, please. Where? In the Gulf of Gapes, or where are you? The Narrows. Okay. I don't know why. I think uh, they were pushed out um, somehow. I did not issue a move order, but they went out. Uh -huh. And um, all is lost from that part of the French Navy. Okay. We have another one back in Tunis. Oh, but that, that, that Navy is sort of gone too, I don't think. Yeah. So, yeah, they ambushed me and did a double sandwich. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you sank, so uh, you sank a little bit of, of them, right? Yeah, yeah, like six, seven German ships. Well, that's, that's all various we're quantities. Yeah, but that's, that's all we're asking for, so that's actually good news. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, if they don't know that I have left... Um... Oh, no. Alright, so one one more navy managed to... Did you have troops in uh, Alexandria as well? Is it just a sub or what is it? France? It's uh, one light cruiser and two destroyers. Okay, but pull them back to UK at least. Because you have the, the carrier there as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so pull them back to the same port and maybe we can save save them. The escape of the Royal Navy was just in time. The Japs conquered ports in Madagascar, which gave them range to attack all over the African East Coast and even South Africa. During November, Prime Minister Halifax, blamed for the disasters of the Royal Navy, was sacked and replaced by Stanley Baldwin. Rumours had it that Stanley had leaked false information to the press, causing the public witch hunt on Halifax. After more than two weeks of brave battle, the Belgian expeditionary force defending Messina had to retreat. German paratroopers had already taken Palermo. Sicily was as good as lost. Simultaneous, Axis aerial interest from Malta increased. Fortunately, the troops were defended by a brigade of anti-aircraft batteries. Fighters scrambled to fend off the skies as the airfields were targeted. The radar emplacement guided the hurricanes who could inflict severe damage on the foes. The radars improved efficiency and all the Focavolts took losses over Malta. Italian warships laid siege to the island. And, not very surprisingly, an amphibious attack on Malta was initiated by the Italians the 30th of November. The first Italians got bogged down on the beaches under fire from British blockhouses. The famous British naval bombers made two separate runs over the Italian landing task force, dropping torpedoes. Several warships were hit, although none were sunk. Greece was the next innocent state to become a victim of Axis aggression. Unfortunately, the United Kingdom was in no position to aid the Greeks. Okay, so we are the 6th of December and uh, things are progressing rather slowly. After a lot of thinking I have decided to evacuate Bombay because as things are progressing on other areas uh, it's no real use to protect it. So we have transit right in um, in uh, Soviet Union and so they are heading actually into Iraq but I mean they will arrive you know sometime next <laughs> summer or something so we'll see how how the situation look back then uh, and um, so the axes are very slowly actually uh, taking our provinces here we have combat in Malta and they haven't even tried to attack here in around Suez yet so we have only ca Canadian expeditionary forces now protecting here 
and we are doing some mild fighting here over Malta. I uh, I really just want to uh, to um, fight when they are sending in bombers, not fighters, because my uh, my airfields here are pretty. Oh, now I actually got one, but uh, they are really bad. So and. Uh, so slowly but surely they are taking uh, Mediterranean. But on the good side is that all my fleets are more or less uh, moved um, home to UK. And for several of the sort of transport fleets I have been really going the long way around because I am afraid that they will come out of the Med and I don't want to have any fleets passing through uh, Gibraltar at that time. So I've been sending all my sort of transport squadrons and task forces a very long way around so not to not pass here through the Atlantic. So right now you see it's only these kind of small battles but I hope we will soon have some interesting events coming from the Soviet Union but you will have to wait and see a little bit. Alright, so I think we have some interesting things coming up. Let's see here. Alex, do you want to give it to us? Like a wet kiss? Ooh. But, so does that mean you went into war with the entire shit? Yes, I'm now at war with Soviet Union and everything else. I hope you're not uh, with uh, <laughs> Germany and the, the entire Axis. I mean. Yes, how nice. Uh, Maxi Boy, how, how did things go with the American threat and all that? They Actually, Japan is still on top there, so okay. uh, unless something happens at midnight, I think so uh, there's no harm done. I think they just paused, but so we have to see what they, uh, what they want. Life is good at taking a piss in your face. Jesse had worked so hard to set up his organization within the first Royal Marines. Not only had he lost reliable people in combat, it had been a drag to get the stolen goods out. Like the opposite from home, when actually finding anything valuable enough to steal was hard. And now, now when he finally had a good fence back home, he had spent a bloody month traveling around friggin' Africa to Suez and then back again without firing a single shot. Now we are stuck in the worst bloody place in the world, Liverpool. Man, it was cold, damp, and full of wankers. Jesus fuck. He need to get out in the battlefield again. He need to get the shit going. And he need to send something to his mother Maisie. What if she was out of money? It was his job to make sure she was alright. Or his father would rise from the dead and take him with him to hell. Good news, the bloody commies had joined the war against Fritz. Stalin had held a speech, Jesse was told, that spread a nationalistic war frenzy across Soviet like wildfire. The commies wanted blood. Well, good. That must mean even the coward Baldwin would dare to send the troops into combat again. Jesse wanted to go to Germany again. It was good plunder there, and a good place to die should it come to that.